Breaking news. In case you are not aware, there is a real terrible thing going on. Do you know that in the northern part of the country, the people who are not termed terrorists are mounting roadblocks, okay, in Nigeria. And guess what this tends to? It tends to the fact that there are two sovereignties in Nigeria. It's not unknown to the government, to the security agencies, that these people have mounted roadblock. And this roadblock is in such and such and such a place. It's not a news, okay? It's not something they just heard or they are trying to understand it or they heard they've not confirmed. It's been for some time now. These people are mounting roadblock in some, in some places in the country. And guess what? Buhari's government have not sent the security agencies there to dislodge it. So they are the ones collecting treaties from people, collecting money, you know, collecting ransom, demanding for blah, blah, blah. And the Nigerian government fold their arms and pretend that nothing is going on. You see, the, the oppression and the lies we tell to ourselves in this country is unimaginable, like seriously unbelievable. These guys are mounting roadblock and committing all forms of atrocities. And guess what? The government can be bothered. And yet they go after IPOB, people who are saying we, we don't want oppression. Leave us a comment. Let's get all the details. There is mountain roadblock among amounts to two sovereignties in Nigeria. The Middle Belt Forum has said that following terrorist mountain roadblocks in any part of the country amounts to telling the world that there are two sovereignties in Nigeria. Welcoming Nigeria to the new year, Middle Belt Forum challenged President Muhammad Buhari and the security agencies to go and diffuse those roadblocks who are terrorizing the nation calling on President Mohamed Buhari to recline his earlier decision not to sign the 2021 Electoral Act Amendment Bill. The Middle Belt Forum, in a statement by its national president, Dr. Beju Beatrice, said that the best this administration can offer Nigeria is provide a platform where the votes of citizens count. You have done nothing for the nation. You are an utter failure. This is the only legacy thing you can leave that can be tied to your belt that you try to do something. Still, you have rejected it. The statement reads, there are two, there are alive two to witness the drawing of a new day. The dawn of a new day has begun. God's great mercy on us as a citizen of a beloved country passing through challenging times. In the previous year, Nigerians, especially ethnic nationalities of the Middle Belt, suffered severe, severely and persistent attacks from gangs of murderous headsmen whose agenda had been to examine, exterminate people and take over their land. Recently, some of our people have come under severe attack in many states of the Middle Belt, including Nasarawa, where no fewer than 45 persons were gruesomely murdered in cold blood by these same headsmen. Yet the president says nothing. These killings have become the trend in many parts of the Middle Belt region of Southern Kaduna, Niger, Plateau, Benue, Adamawa, among others. In Damabo, local government area of Southern Borno, Bukos, um, Lemings have completely taken over the local government in the past three years without any challenge. Three years, I see, from the security personnel. It is a damnable local government area that Boko launched attack on communities, including the recent attack that killed a military general. They know that these places have been taken over by these people, yet the federal government concentrates efforts going to the south, where the real issue and action is they don't go there. What exactly is going on? Allowing these people to mount roadblock and collect many from Nigeria shows that there are two sovereign states and this administration is ready to do nothing. But we charge Buhari to go on with the new year and to do the right thing, go and diffuse these people. The crux of the matter is that it still remains that Buhari, his administration, the service chiefs knows that this is happening. They know. You get me now? Uh -huh. They know. They understand it. They know. It's not somebody trying to tell them what is going on. Three years. How much longer do they want to get? Three years, these people have mounted roadblocks. 
people come to a place they cannot pass through because some persons are there and are, uh, you know, clamoring on you. And this Fulani headsman and having a field day, you see, they are clamoring on you to either accept their religion or do whatever they want to do. Recently, we heard of how they told parents collecting girls as young as 12, not fully developed, as young as 12 from schools and what have you. And the government did nothing. It's not just the, 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 the man and woman on the street hearing what is going on. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a known secret. Everybody knew. They passed out a statement and those people raised the alarm to the government. But guess what? Nobody was there. Nobody came to even help the people to say this must not happen. But guess where the strength of this administration is? The, the, the Southeast. Your guess is as good as mine. The Southeast. Why are they against the Southeast and living where there are real cause for attention and action now? Is there something the Southeast has done against them? The Southeast has no security challenge. Take it from me. It is man-made created and something can be done about it. The Southeast has no, no whatsoever no issue going on. There's no issue. Go I put it to you. There's no issue going on in the Southeast. This is between us. There is no issue whatsoever going on in the Southeast. Leave the people. They will sort out themselves. Just leave them. There is no problem. There is no issue. The problem is the Nigerian government going there to destabilize lives, to take away people's children, you know, and, 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 to, and to destroy lives and property. That's what they are doing. Now, Leave the Southeast to sort out their problem. Go now to those, uh, you know, villages and towns where they say these very vocals have taken, taken, taken away, you know, liberty from the people for the past not one year. Then you say they are gathering momentum. I mean, immediately they do something happen in the Southeast. You hear operation, this operation, that. Look at the uh, Anambra's election. Did you hear the number of security agencies that were there? Did you hear the number of security agencies? Fear of God will catch you. Fear of God will catch you. Why can't that same energy be prepared towards the people who also really need it like yesterday? Why? What exactly is going on? Why can't the same energy, the same strength, the same momentum be carried and be geared towards, you know, going to the, to the north? You know why? Religious affinity. They, are, they know what they are doing, okay? You are just being deceived. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.